In this video, I will show you how to generate a signed APK, which means that you need to put a digital signature to your application installation file that needs to run on an Android device. Now, why do we need this? Well, we need this if we want to, to keep on adding or updating our application to the Google Play Store. So if you add your application to the Google Play Store and you want to update it, you need to use the exact same signature and private key and certificate in order to be able to update your app on the Google Play Store. Now, that's just a security measure that somebody else cannot go and upload an app replacing your app on the Google Play Store. So this is very important that you need to know how to sign digitally sign your APK. So if you go to the build menu on Android Studio, you'll see there's a generate signed APK. So if you click on it, you get to this uh, window that says module and you'll see it's in that module app of ours. There's nothing else to select. So I'm just going to say next and then it asks you for a key store path. So if you haven't used this before, you're just going to go and say create new. So you can just just indicate your your path to your key store and the key store is basically just a file that will keep all your different keys and aliases to your keys. So for every app, you'll need a new key and you need to remember the password for that key. Otherwise, you won't be able to upload it to the Google Play Store under the same version of the app or the same the same app. If you forget the key or the password or your key store file is gone, it means that you need to go and create a brand new app on the Play Store and you can't replace the one that's already there. So the key store path, you can choose whatever it should be. You can choose the three dots there. I'm just going to go with text desktop there. Let me just name it uh, example and say OK. So you can see it's on the desktop and it's going to be example.jks. Then the password there, you can type some password there for your key store. And that will be your password for getting access to all of your keys. So then you need to create a key for the app now. So I'm going to create a key and I'm going to call this ID information. That's the name of the app. So I'm going to give the alias of the key that also. And then your password here should be different than the one that you have there. So for every app, you should uh, use a different password there for your key. And then you just confirm your password again. And then you can set the validity of this information or this certificate, this di digital signature of yours and the key. So I think 25 years would be fine. But if you think that you're going to have your app on the Play Store for more than 25 years, you can you can make the validity higher. Then you'll add your your first and last name. You'll add some organizational data if you want your city, uh, your state and province. Uh, your country code, whatever. You can add this, this information there if you like. And this will be signed digitally with that uh, specific key of yours. So if you say OK now, you can see there's the key store path, there's the password, the alias is, from, is informa ID information, and then the password will be already filled in. So now if you click on Next, you can see there's the destination folder now for your APK. So my, my uh, destination folder will be under the desktop, Android projects. There's a folder ID information. Under the app folder, it will place my APK, my application file. And the build type, you can choose as either release or debug. It must be release if you want to, to release this on the Google Play Store. And then you're going to say finish. And then it creates this APK for you. So if I can just quickly go into my Android projects now, mine is still running. Uh, I've got an ID information project folder. Under that one, we've got the app project folder. And then you'll see your app release APK was then generated there. Mine just generated again. So we've got the APK release, app release APK. And this is now the application package that's been digitally signed for your application. So now you'll see if I take this file, let me just move it to the side and I drag it to the virtual device. It will, it will try to install that APK, but it will say it's failed because this ID information that's currently running on it, the one that we tested is not 
the same signature as the one that we're trying to install now. So I need to go then to the settings of the phone, go into apps, and I need to go and delete that specific app, which we called ID information. So there it is. Click on it. I'm going to uninstall it from the virtual device. And then it's done. So now if I drag in that APK and I release it on the emulator, it's now installing 100%. If I go back, you can see ID information is there again and the app is running. So this APK is the file that you can then go and place on the Google Play Store as your application. Uh, also, you can copy this file to your Android phone and install it on your Android phone and it will run the app on your phone. So either by the USB cable via Dropbox or any other cloud service or Bluetooth or however you're going to get it from your computer to your um, to your phone this APK will then install on your phone so if you want to go then and load your app to the Google Play Store you'll need to go to play.google.com forward slash apps forward slash publish and if you're not signed up yet well if you just go to publish, in any case, it's going to take you to the sign up page if you are not signed up. The very first thing that will happen is it will ask you to sign into your Google account. And then you'll see at the bottom, it will ask you to agree that you must use this Google account that you signed into to be a Google developer. And then you also see the next steps will be to pay the registration fee and then complete your account details. And the registration fee will be $25. So now, uh, dollars to Rand in South Africa. If it's $25, you will pay basically 336 Rand to be a Google Play developer or Google developer, Android developer for life. So then you'll just uh, say continue to payment. You'll pay the $25 and you are a developer for life. Uh, when you're on your developer page, you'll see that you can create new application. You need to fill out a lot of details of your app, give descriptions of everything. There's a lot of detail that you need to do. And somewhere there, you need to add your APK file. So this APK, the generation of the APK, the signed APK is very important if you want to place your APK or your application to the Google Play Store.